What is going on guys? It is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs and today marks part two of these side skirts being installed. Now today I said we were going to be doing a little bit of sanding, a little bit of bondo work, and a little bit of redoing. So my dad was driving the car a little bit around because he wanted to get a feel of everything and it turns out a screw popped out right here where I showed you guys that it was not enough. So what I'm planning on doing is shaving a little bit off the edge here so that this can be put in more and then shaving more off the edge so that a screw doesn't have enough pressure to just fly out, you feel me? So we're gonna fix all that and get that all situated. Then we're gonna pull the side skirts off, sand them down where to get them where we want them to be. And then we're also gonna bondo them, make them all nice and flat, sand them down, make sure everything's nice and smooth before we get into paint, put some filler primer on them, get them sanded down after the primer, and then once we do all that, they'll be ready for paint. And my dad is going to paint them because he's like kind of a pro at painting stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let him get that done. So I'm going to have him record that whole thing going on. And uh, then we'll get them installed after they're painted. And they're going to look spicy. Let's get into uh, taking the side skirts off. Um, Resanding all this stuff and getting it to fit nice and perfect. So once I get them fitted perfect, we're going to get them off primer them, bondo them, all that good stuff. So uh, let's get the easy stuff done and then get the hard stuff done. So let's get it.
hardened up quick quicker than I thought it was going to so I'm gonna make a new batch to do this one I uh, kind of already did the other one but it hardened up too quick so this is my first time working with Bondo so it's gonna be pretty weird but you know we're gonna get the hang of it this time and try to get what we need to get done so I just put some new Bondo on here we're gonna put some activator on it or the hardener and uh, fix all the cracks and stuff on here Bondo that up so that we have a nice side skirt again and then we're gonna primer it and get it ready for paint so let's get into it so guys this is where we're at right now we got the bondo here it is drying up um so got to give that a little bit to dry then we can sand it down and make it look perfect but right now it's just a glob same on this side need to sand it down make it look perfect um it's just a glob right now so you need time to let that dry i did this one over here i just did some slight because there was a crack right here and kind of didn't want it to show up on paint so i'm gonna do that then we're gonna use filler primer to spray these down um after driving these around they did scrape pretty good while driving because uh on here you guys can see that there's scrape damage from hitting the ground all along here there's scratch marks from when the car was turning or when it did hit a bump on the road so yeah that's side skirt this driver's side side skirt is messed up more than the passenger one which is i guess is normal because you have more weight on the driver's side when a person is driving the car so it makes sense so we're gonna let this dry up a little bit and then we're gonna get into sanding it hopefully get this done before it gets dark so that i can prime them and uh, get those sanded so they can be painted tomorrow. So let's get it. So guys, it is now time to start sanding all the imperfections. I started a little bit to see how it worked, but I got this side pretty much flat it feels nice and smooth you know what i'm saying i'm gonna send a little bit more and that line is starting to go away as you guys can see right there once it's all painted you'll never notice but i started painting over or er, sanding over here too gotta get that down some more but it is turning out really nice gotta sand that down and then we sand this down make sure that's all nice and fine and all good and dandy and then we can prime it and everything should be turning out good so hopefully after the sanding, everything should match out good. Primer and then paint will be tomorrow. We can throw them back on the car and see how they look all said and done. So let's get it. So guys, I just finished sanding everything down, making it look nice and pretty. Got the Bondo looking good, as you guys can see. Did that side, also did this side, making sure those cracks and weird spots don't show up on paint. So we got that done. Now I just need to scuff them up pretty good so that the primer does fit on there you get what i'm saying but first time with bondo went pretty well i'm pretty proud about it because it went way better than i expected but just remember with hardener um you got to make sure you put the right amount or it hardens up too quick because if it hardens up too quick then you miss out on using bondo that you already had made like we did before so just use the right amount of hardener if you plan on doing something like this yourself make sure you're doing the right measurements all that good stuff because uh yeah you don't want to end up missing out on bondo if you know what i'm saying so all i gotta do is scuff all these up get them ready to be uh painted so that the primer can stick once they're primered then they can be sanded again and then they can be painted and then we'll be done here and we can get them all adjusted up on the car i'm so happy and proud that we're almost done with this so let's get to uh scuffing up these panels so that the paint can stick and then let's get to primering them let's get it so guys i just finished scuffing them all up for paint so now they're ready to get painted i just need to clean them off with some like degreaser acetone something like that get them clean so that the paint can stick all that cool stuff but they are all set and ready so i'm gonna take these to the backyard I'll meet you guys in the backyard where we're gonna spray some primer down after we find out how we're gonna clean this we are in the backyard now got the uh side skirt set up so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch the camera over to my dad i'm gonna have him start recording because he is gonna be painting these and i don't really got time to uh sit here watch them and uh 
primer them myself so because it is gonna get dark real quick so my plan is to let my dad handle all of that stuff so we're gonna switch the camera over to him he's gonna clean these primer them start painting them and then I'll probably finish painting them in the afternoon and get it situated and make them look spicy on the car so uh yeah other than that let's get it let's switch over to my dad Keep. Zeph has already taken these back off the corners that were messed up he has corrected those now i'm gonna go ahead and primer them prepare them for paint get them all ready to go they can go back onto the car and be finished on there i'm gonna first start off i'm gonna go ahead and use the 320 grit sandpaper here and do another little rough sanding on these for before i primer them First, I'm going to hit it with the uh, two and one filler and sandable. This is a Rust Oleum product. We're not sponsored by them. Okay, um, I've let the primer filler already uh, dry for a while. I'm going to go ahead and now hit it with the 600 grit sandpaper uh, to kind of smoothen it out before I hit it with a primer sealer before painting. So let's go ahead and take care of that for now and go from there. All right, I've now finished sanding them down. I'm gonna hit them with a primer sealer before I start throwing paint on them. Give them a quick little wipe up and then start in with the primer. So guys, my dad did finish painting these side skirts and uh, I already took one of them to the front, but I gotta take this one to the front. But this is the finished product. It was kind of windy today. So he said that it kind of became grainy a little bit off because it's a rattle can paint, spray paint job. So you already know how that is. If one gets involved and it doesn't lay down as nicely as it would. But as you guys can see, it's kind of grainy. Nothing a little wet sand won't fix and a little bit of buffing. They are finished. So once um, I guess letting them sit a couple days, we'll wet sand them and uh, buff them out, make them look real nice and not grainy. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go get these on the car and uh, see how they look because I've been waiting for this moment for a while, ever since I started getting the side skirts ready and doing all that, seeing them in paint, looking all good. It makes me just want to put them on even more. So we're gonna start we're gonna head over to the front we're gonna head over to the front and we're gonna get these side skirts and put them on the car and see what they look like because hopefully this will change everything of how the car looks because i showed you guys how the car looked with the black side skirts on now that they match the car it should look even better so uh we'll get a visual representation once we go do this so let's head to the front and uh go put these on Now that we have made it to the front, it's time to put these side skirts on the Beetle and see how they look on the car. Let's get these mounted and then see how they look because I've been waiting for this day and I know you guys have because we are starting body work and this was one of the beginning pieces of getting this done. So let's see how these side skirts look on the car and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. I'm gonna set you guys up and uh, we're gonna upload these or I'm gonna put you up on the tripod and we're gonna record the process of putting the side skirts on. So let's get it. Hey.
So guys, as you guys can see behind me, the car is all set up. I put the side skirts on and it's all set and good. The uh, fenders kind of look, or not the fenders, the side skirts look kind of weird right now because I have to sand them down and make them look pretty, you know, but uh, they need to uh, shrink a little bit because paint shrinks over time. Uh, any of you guys would know that. But um, yeah, let's get into an edit. Let's get into an edit of the car. Show you guys what these side skirts look like on the car, all painted. And uh, then after we do that, <laughs> let's end off the video because I'm tired of these side skirts, man. They took forever. So uh, yeah, comment edit now. So guys, car is all said and done as you guys can see. It looks pretty decent. It looks really good, man, for what it is. Rattle can, spray can job is not like the way to go when it comes to painting a car like this because the color didn't really match up as we wanted it to. Um, it matches pretty well, but you guys can see the clear is kind of like foggy. So that's when the buffing comes in and the sanding and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna knock that out soon, but that's for the future. We just wanted to get it mounted and painting and all that good stuff making them look good so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy getting some body work done on this car it came out looking really really good and i'm happy with it for what it is so yeah let's get into uh more stuff later on because next week we got more stuff week after that we got more stuff so let's start knocking stuff out on this beetle and get it to where we want it to be so we can get the whole car painted in some nice paint so uh yeah other than that guys i hope you guys did enjoy please like share and subscribe if you guys did because that helps us out a lot. And uh, yeah, it's been your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs, and I'm out. Peace. Deuces. Bye.